What's up everybody, welcome to the Phage Reviews YouTube channel. My name is Jordan, if you are a subscriber, welcome back, and if you are new here, thank you for joining us. Behind me, against the wall over there, is a brand new PA system for review. Yes, I've got another one, again from the company ProRec. If you are a subscriber, you will have seen the review of the Club 2000 that I did a little while ago, a very affordable column array, all-in-one speaker system that I reviewed, and that video has been so popular. ProRec decided to reach out and send me a another one of their systems, this time a step up. This is the ProRec Club 3000. You can see just from the top of the speaker that this is a different type of speaker, more of an array configuration than a column. It comes as a stereo pair instead of the uh, single speaker that the Club 2000 comes with. And there's a lot more features that I wanna talk to you about today. But before we dive into that, if you're not already, consider becoming a subscriber, following the channel, ring the notification bell. All of that helps me to continue bringing you content each and every week. Now in this video, Video. We're gonna do an unboxing. I'm gonna tell you about everything that comes in the package, which I've got right here. I'm gonna tell you about my experience using the system and give you a demo of how it works. But enough about that, let's dive in to taking a look at the ProRec Club 3000. So the ProRec Club 3000, much like the smaller 2000 I reviewed before, is an all-in-one PA system. And like many of the more affordable systems on Amazon or other online sites, it functions as a single powered PA unit one speaker has an amplifier that sends out power to a bunch of other speakers. In the case of the Club 3000, we've got two 12-inch subwoofers, one of them containing a mixer and an amplifier, as well as two sets of top array speakers, four cabinets with four-inch drivers and a tweeter in each one, set a set of four on each side of your system. Also in the box, they're gonna include all of the different cables and components you need to get running and off the ground. You can buy this system, pair it via Bluetooth to your phone if you want, or use a wired connection and be running without the Need to purchase anything additional, which I really like. Now, normally on this channel, I do an unboxing, but when it comes to PA gear like this, it's too big. There's not enough space in the studio for me to do it. So I'll overlay an unboxing that I did earlier out by the front door when these came in. And I'll just talk you through everything that comes in the package. Now, of course, you're going to get the speakers and the subwoofers. The top cabs, all eight of the boxes, come in one container in one package. There's three separate cardboard cartons that you're gonna receive. And apart from those eight upper boxes, you're gonna get two speaker mounting poles and a bracket for each of the tops. And there is some assembly required. You're going to have to screw the top cabinets into the bracket, which will eventually hook on to the speaker pole. So eight top cabs, two uh, brackets, two adapters to hook onto the speaker poles, two speaker poles, and then we've got an array of cables in here. Okay, so uh, let me just kind of walk you through these. I'm gonna have to read them off because I wanna make sure I get all the measurements, right? So you've got a 30 foot speak on cable to connect your two subwoofers from the powered to the non-powered. You also have uh, this, I believe also 30, 33 foot quarter inch mono power cable to connect the subwoofer amplifier to the non-powered far away, like the other set of tops. And then we've got a smaller, let's see, six foot quarter inch power cable to go from the powered sub up to the tops directly above it. We've got seven of these small quarter inch linking power cables to connect each of the boxes in the array. They give you, you only need six to connect the four on each side, but they give you a seventh just as an extra. You're also gonna get your IEC cable, which I believe is six foot as well. You're gonna have extra hardware for hooking the speakers to the bracket. You're going to get a IR remote for controlling the Bluetooth and the SD card function, which we'll talk about in a minute. And then you're going to get your setup guide for mounting the speakers and your user manual, okay? So there's a lot of stuff in the box. It comes in three really large cartons. Um, so it does require a bit of assembly. Now, I took videos of that as well. Like I mentioned, there's just two speakers per, two screws per speaker cabinet. So eight screws in total for each side of the system. It took me almost no time at all. You just need a regular screwdriver to set it up, piece of cake. Now, before we switch over to taking a close look at each of the components, I did want to talk about a few specs. Now, this is the Club 3000, which supposedly has, I think, 3,000 watts, or actually, they claim 4,000 peak. I'm just going to be honest, I don't think, I don't know if you'll ever, ever hit that. Um, they also claim that it's 1,000 watts RMS, which seems pretty in line for two subs and two tops. I can maybe believe that. 4,000 peak, I mean, watts don't even matter for volume anyway, but just take those uh, with a grain of salt. Now, it says wide frequency frequency response from 40 hertz to 20,000 kilohertz. Uh, this little 12-inch sub, I, 
it maybe can hit 40 like very like very low levels i'm guessing the minus 3 db point is probably like in the 50s or 60s so um it, it doesn't really dig the deepest but you have to have larger drivers for that anyway construction wise the subwoofer is made out of mdf so a type of wood they're pretty you know hefty and and heavy but being a 12 they're still very easy to manage the tops i they feel like like a plastic you know uh can composite construction so you know it's a good combo of you know when you've got all the four of these together it's pretty heavy so four plastic boxes over the wood sub i think is a good combination now as i was unpacking these earlier i did shoot some video of each of the components separately and talk about the mixer section of the subwoofer so we'll cut to that right now all right so this is the back of the powered subwoofer this is really the brains of the entire system all of the other components are passive and this one amplifier is what sends power to both of the tops and the other subwoofer so i'm going to kind of walk you through all of the different controls this serves as not only your amplifier but as your mixer as well as your media player so there's a lot going on here so you can see it says pro rec club 3000 right here we do have a fan that is decently loud in operation provided you're in an environment where people are talking or dancing or music's playing you're not going to hear it but if it is dead silent and you're sitting close to the speaker you may hear the fan but not really a deal breaker now i have read online that this fan has caused um overheating issues if people push this too hard outdoors uh you know i haven't had any issues with that because i'm just running it inside but be aware that maybe there's not enough power dispersion here but that's kind of user you know up to your own experience again i haven't had any problems with it but i'm not using this outdoors in the heat so just bear that in mind that you you know if you're pushing this really hard that it may have um you know heat concerns that you need to keep in mind now up here at the top we've got the media player and i think this is one of the big selling points of this speaker so not only do you have your bluetooth connection which is great to see but we have this little display if i power on the speaker you'll see this light up right here Next to that, you have a USB and an SD card. So if you have files, you know, a background mix or something loaded on a flash drive, which I've done numerous times, you can just slip that in there, play the music off of that drive, and you don't even have to connect your phone. It's completely standalone, which is really nice. And then you've got buttons here uh, that mirror your remote as far as play, pause, skip, change the repeat, um, change the mode, etc. Okay, now right below that, if I pan the camera down just a touch, you're gonna see our different channel inputs and outputs. So this is channel one and channel two right here. Each of them have their own treble and bass control, so kind of a two channel EQ. You've also got an effect and next to the effect row we've got depth so this has built in reverb echo type effect if you're using this for like karaoke or something and you don't have effects on your mixer you can add some in here it's pretty uh subtle and weak and then after a little bit it becomes very strong so it's kind of all or nothing um you can use it if you want i was testing it but i probably would just use a like a mixer's built-in effects for that okay now below that each channel has its own volume or gain so you can adjust the volume of that individual channel and then over here on the far right below the level meters we have our master volume knob okay now I skipped a little bit up here we have a graphic equalizer it's five band you've got uh, individual controls at 100 Hertz 330 Hertz 1 kilohertz 3.3 kilohertz and 10 kilohertz if you wanted to tweak this you could again I don't know if it's fine enough control for anything useful but you do have that right there now we talked about the effect depth right here going down a little farther next to our master volume knob we have the sub volume so the subwoofer amplifiers have their own independent level control and I keep mine at about the two to three o'clock position the subs do need a little extra juice to keep up with the tops and then this last knob right here is a volume knob for our third channel so if I pan the camera down a little bit more you can see channels one and two are XLR quarter inch inputs each with a mic line switch to change the you know the gain the sensitivity and then this uh, channel right here has a stereo quarter inch jack input as well as an RCA and this knob will also control the Bluetooth player volume uh, off to the right we have monitor output so this will send out a line signal to another like an effects unit or a, another set of speakers another mixer you know a recording device whatever um, the only other button I forgot to highlight is right below the sub volume we have this little button right here and this is like a low pass filter I think low pass right it cuts off the bottom of the sub you can choose to if you push it in cut the sub off at 45 Hertz which is as low as it will go or if you pull it push it out 63 Hertz is where it will cut it off um, I, I don't know if I've already mentioned this in the video or if I'm going to at a later point but one 
one of the big uh, drawbacks of the system is that there doesn't seem to be any sort of crossover in the speaker. So both the subwoofer and the tops are getting the full signal. I really wish they had added that. It would make a big difference in the speaker. Um, so that's what I thought this was, was a crossover, but it's not. It's just where you're low passing the, the subwoofer. And then at the bottom of the uh, speaker, you can see I've got it hooked up for testing. We've got our power button over here, our IEC power connection, a speak on out to go to the second passive subwoofer, and then two quarter inch outputs to go to the top array speaker. So one for the right and one for the left. Now that's a quick look at the subs and the tops. I also shot a sound demo for you guys. Now, to be fair, I don't think YouTube sound demos are good in any capacity. I used to not do them, but so many people complained that now I've started doing it. So this is recorded on a little Tascam, I don't think I have it next to me, a little Tascam recorder. I played a variety of royalty-free music. I can only play a few seconds of each clip so I don't get copyright striked. Uh, hopefully this is helpful to you. In all honesty, you really kind of have to hear these in person. Um, you know, Amazon's got a good return policy, but if you like reviews, uh, you know, sound demos on the internet, hopefully this is helpful. All right, and there's your sound demo. Now let me tell you about my experience using this product because I think that's more helpful. I reviewed a lot of sound systems and so I can be honest with you about what I think of the system. We're gonna talk about the pros and cons in just a moment. You'll see when I did that sound demo, that was actually in my living room. Last night we hosted a karaoke party for about 20 of our friends and I, you know, this system's obviously overkill for my living room but it allowed me to kind of push it and just test it and hear the, you know, the sound quality and there's a few things about this system that I really like. The sound is full. Anytime you put your, your sub or your low end, your woofer on the ground, you're just gonna get more reinforcement from that bottom edge from the floor, and that's gonna kind of fill in that low end a little bit. And even though this system only has four boxes per side, so like line array boxes, you still get a lot of those line array characteristics from the front to the back of the room, probably 30 something feet, 40 feet. The sound didn't drop off in, in volume at all. Doesn't matter what volume I had it at, it really did carry and sound pretty equal uh, from front to back. The dispersion from side to side was also very good. Just walking from one side of the room to the other, I didn't really feel like the audio was changing in, in tone or quality very much, which is pretty good. Um, so I think that is really, really great. These sound amazing kind of in the middle of their volume range. Once you're at the very low, you don't really have a lot of low end punch, like low volumes. And when you're at really high volumes, the, you know, the cheapness of the system starts to show. In the middle, uh, you know, I'd say maybe in a room of 50 people, I think it really, really shines. But if you're gonna kind of crank these, you'll start to see the weaknesses. So let me kind of give you a quick rundown of what I consider the pros and the cons. Pros, the ability to do Bluetooth is just so nice in a speaker these days. Professionally, I wouldn't be using this at, you know, paying gigs using Bluetooth. But if you just wanna throw these up for like a neighborhood party, background music, you're just, you know, using them around the house or with some friends, having Bluetooth is so handy. I will say that the quality of the audio is much much better over a wired connection normally I can't tell very much with speakers but with these guys the Bluetooth sounds noticeably worse than the wired connection um, other pros the built-in media player also nice I've done background music type gigs where I just wanted to plug in a flash drive of Yacht Rock or of 80s music and I can just do that and use the remote to change tracks so handy don't need to keep my phone tethered to the speaker I also think that the array characteristics of the speaker is really nice um, four boxes is, is kind of like borderline is this actually an array but I do think that the audio is pretty even from front to back and from side to side you do get a very nice clear tone across the whole listening area and lastly I think the clarity and the volume of the audio is really good for the price this whole system two subs two tops costs about the same as like one mid-range 12 inch speaker from like a name brand and 
it's obviously not gonna be built to the same standards as that speaker, and it's not gonna be as clear and punchy as one of those, but it's just a lot more speaker for your money. People on reviews on Amazon that are saying this sounds like a Bluetooth speaker from like their house that they bought at Walmart are full of it. This sounds great, and in the right setting, not being pushed too hard, I think it sounds like any other PA system. I Don't be fooled by reviews saying that this sounds like someone's home Bluetooth speaker, because it does not. So let's talk about the cons as well, because I think it's important. No speaker is perfect. And you know, first and foremost, this is not 3000 watts, I don't think, or 4000 watts. So uh, just like every other speaker manufacturer, I think that's overinflated. You're never gonna hit that. Um, the other con, the base is kind of the weak point of the system. 12 inch drivers are not big subwoofers to begin with. So I wasn't expecting a lot of extension, but these guys, you know, despite having a dedicated woofer, really just aren't reaching that low. And the base is a little bit muddy. And the reason for that is because I don't think there's any sort of crossover built into the amplifier or the subwoofer. So both the subs and the tops are getting the full range signal. At medium volumes, that's not an issue. When you push it, the tops get distorted and the bass gets really muddy because it's trying to play these upper notes and the tops are trying to play the lower notes. I wish there was a crossover. If there is, it doesn't sound like it because I can hear voices in the sub and I can hear low notes in the tops. So keep that in mind. And then the last thing uh, that I think could be improved in the future, uh, you know, quality of cables, uh, you know, is always something that, you know, we got to cut costs somewhere. So I, you know, you could probably buy better cables. These are pretty thin. And then the plastic like knobs on the, on the speaker pole, like feel kind of cheesy. I wouldn't want to like bust off a plastic knob on the speaker and not be able to use the pole. So that's kind of keep that in mind. Now, when it comes to value for the money, I think the pros of the speaker far outweigh the cons, no doubt in my mind for this amount of money, Money, you know, like I said, you can buy a Bluetooth speaker at Walmart or Best Buy, like a JBL speaker, and it won't sound as good as this. You won't get as like a wide and even a dispersion, and it's got the dedicated inputs, a mixer section. There's just a lot of benefits to this over just buying like a consumer speaker. So, uh, you know, you've heard it now. You've heard me talk about it. If you like it, if it sounds good to you, I'll include a link down below in the description. You could buy through there, support the channel. I would of course love you for it. And uh, if you're not already, consider subscribing and following, hitting the notification notification bell, leave a comment, like this video, have you tested ProRex systems before? Is there something you wanna see in the future? But that's gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.